Rapid fire with the coach, Don Granado. When you are not working, I realize this is a tough one. How do you like to spend your time? Sleeping. I wish I could. Uh, best <laughs> hockey moment you have that watched? That just means I work too much, Brian. That's all it means. That's the first, you said rapid fire. First thing that came to mind is 11 o'clock at night, dropping the computer down for a while. Best hockey moment you watched live as a fan? Two, two great ones. Uh, Game seven, Stanley Cup, 2008, I believe it was, in Detroit. Pittsburgh won. And then uh, the Olympics in Salt Lake, watching my sister play, which was amazing uh, to watch them play Germany. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay longer because I had job obligations, but that was pretty special. Favorite exercise routine? Anything to do with skating or hockey would be number one. After that, I, I don't mind riding the bike. I can't run anymore because of my knee. Um, but any, any exercise is fun, anything real active. What are you currently reading? I am currently on the, the iPad, so I don't currently read one thing. You, you, I think the attention span, you're going to figure out my attention span on this. I read about three, four pages of one book that I like and then skip to the next book, but a lot on uh, leadership and management and coaching and just like to hear a lot of uh, different authors and viewpoints and stuff. First concert you ever attended? This is a great one. Elvis Presley. I think it was 1976 at the old Chicago Stadium. We were way in the back. We had great seats all the way back at the far end of the building, but it was awesome. What was your first job? Uh, well, I worked for my dad washing trucks, washing beer trucks. My father has owned a beer distributorship uh, since I was a very young kid. And Saturday morning, he'd wake us up. It seemed like four in the morning. It was more like 5:36. And let's go get out of bed. We're gonna go. You gotta go wash some trucks. So every Saturday, we would wash trucks, and that was really my first job. Most used emoji? Uh, just a smiley. Boring. Really boring. Smile. It's easy. It's accessible. It's probably accessible because I use it. They probably move uh -huh. to the front. I just stick with it. Your favorite subject in school? You know, probably the only one that was easy for me was math. Um, I had a hockey class, believe it or not. This is what I loved about going to high school in Minnesota. There was actually a class called hockey, and it was one semester, and it was taught by our, wouldn't you know it, our hockey coach at the time. That was a blast. That was the best class I ever had. Um, but yeah, math was something I was comfortable with. You couldn't figure I, out. I, I was struggled to read as a kid. And uh, so that always intimidated. English and mm -hmm. anything, reading, writing, really was intimidating for me. I hear you on that one. I was the nerd in school. If you had to eat the same meal every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Did you really have to ask me that question? Don't shoot the questioner. This may sound not true, but it is spaghetti and meatballs. It really, <laughs> truly is. My aunt, my aunt Toots, and Aunt Verge would make some incredible pasta sauce. And so I spoke of working for my dad. I would work in the summertime for my dad. They would cook actually lunch. And a lot of times it'd be pasta and they would give me a heads up because I would get excited for, for honestly spaghetti and meatballs. Favorite color? Blue. Blue, and I don't say that because of the sabers. I have, just look what Is I'm wearing. Shade so, of blue that you prefer? Yeah. Yeah, I, glasses, made you, the, I asked if you'd wear blue today too, so yeah. you got blue the shoes for me. glasses look really good, so I'm believing this whole blue thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is your favorite band or artist? Sorry, who is your favorite band or artist? Uh, you know, it was in, in college, it was U2, and, and now I, I don't know the answer to that. I hear lots of music that I like, and but I, I haven't had time to kind of delve into the music industry, but um, so I guess I would have to stick with U2 or Coldplay is up there for me. Best piece of advice you've ever been given? I would, I want one, I don't know if it was advice, but something that comes to mind would be my dad. Whenever we as kids would, would maybe overstep our boundaries asking for something or we get upset with something, he'd give you, he'd look at you and say, so you think you have it bad? And that seemed to just put things in perspective for you really quick that things could maybe get a little worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so it, it balanced you out pretty good. I thought that was some pretty darn good, uh, if not advice, a good good thing to look out for or outlook. What is your favorite animal? Tiger, so I'm gonna go saber-toothed tiger. 
How's that sound? Wow. How's that for thinking on your feet? Favorite thing to do? I had help on that. Alexi helped me on that one. <laughs> I cheated. Favorite thing to do in the summer? Um, I like fishing. Love fishing. I, I stare at the Niagara River and I actually wonder how big the muskie are in that river. Uh, so mu muskie fishing is... Okay, so what's the biggest muskie you've ever reeled in? 53 inches. Where? Uh, first one I caught when I was 12 years old. I was uh, chewing bubble gum, bubble yum, bubble gum. Uh -huh. I remember that. It was at 9 o'clock at night up at Lake of the Woods, Ontario. Favorite ice cream flavor? Very simple chocolate chip. And I've gone dairy-free now, and I, I love being dairy-free, so it's harder to find dairy-free ice cream. And it's just, it, I'll, I'll sneak more chocolate chip in the future. But yeah. TV sitcom family, which one would you be a member of? Easy one. I grew up with five brothers and sisters, so I could say the Brady Bunch right away. But uh, that would probably be the, I'd probably feel most comfortable in that one. Be lots of fights, though. Right. Yeah. Favorite superhero? Superman has never failed me. I like Superman. Uh, favorite holiday? Christmas. Can remember how much we, I loved Christmas because you get two weeks off of school and we could skate outside it all day long. Remember my mom yelling at us to come in and eat. We would just yell back, we're not hungry. <laughs> and just keep skating. Favorite athlete growing up? Tony Esposito originally, uh, and then Dennis Savard. I mean, Dennis Savard was, was electrifying in the old Chicago stadium. Anytime he touched the puck, you know, everybody leaned forward on their seat or stood up. And that was something to remember. Um, Favorite athlete to watch now? My niece. She's a golfer at the University of uh, Nebraska, Omaha, and I golfed with her a couple weeks ago, and she is fun to watch. I mean, it's amazing. What's her name? Mandy. Nice. Mandy Granato. She was a hockey player, switched to, to golf a few years ago, and got a scholarship for golf, and she's fun to watch. Do you own a pet? I have a Weimreiner. Ten-year-old Weimreiner that keeps you busy. Yeah. She's a great dog. Yeah. How would one describe And a great friend. You come <laughs> in, win or lose, she's right there for you. Tail wagon. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you've had her from the start? I had, yeah. yeah. Uh, coffee or tea? I don't mind both. I start with coffee, though, in the morning and probably have tea later. Favorite road city? Chicago. It's home. So. Good city to visit. <laughs> simple, I, a simple guy, Brian. <laughs> Favorite movie? I have, I have struggled to find a good movie lately, so I'm in the series. Um, Gladiator probably, com Gladiator comes to mind. I love that movie. Um, can't even remember why anymore. I just know I love that movie. Morning or night person? Uh, I love getting up early in the morning. I actually, in the summertime, when the sun rises early, I'm up early. I love it. And then in the winter, I'm much more of a night person um, and need a little more sleep. But when that daylight comes in, I'm ready to go. So. If you're given a blank page, what would you write on it? Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Thank you, Don. Um, yeah. Let's talk hockey now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.